Now to a developing story out of Dearborn. And a sad one there it's where a well-known florist was shot and killed. Sean Lay is live on the scene and has been talking to the victim's family. And looking into this all morning long, right here, such a busy, busy shopping center, Ford Road, right before the Southfield Freeway. It happened right outside this popular restaurant, Sushi Co., and it happened right here in this parking space. A man walking out with his fiance after eating last night. They were just days away, guys, from celebrating their engagement. His luxury SUV was right here. We're told by family members he was ambushed, shot, watch taken, keys taken and his necklace taken tonight family today family members are calling it absolutely outrageous it happened here just before 9 30 last night at the dearborn restaurant sushi co on ford road this is where we are told dearborn florist hassan salome was out to dinner with his fiance along with his fiance's sister and as they left salome was gunned down right here in front of the restaurant just feet from the front door the couple were about to get into the Salome's luxury SUV, a Mercedes G-Wagon, parked right in front. She heard three shots. Salome was on the ground. He did not survive. For this to happen here, in one of the busiest shopping centers in this area, Salome's cousin says it's so tragic. His family is reeling, but it's also outrageous. I, I can't tell you how sad it is. I, 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 can't, I can't even comprehend. My brain still can't, doesn't even comprehend that this happened. Back here live, this also happened right in front of a camera pointed right at that parking space. A Dearborn police detective is inside right now, likely reviewing that footage. We also expect to hear from Dearborn police on this. Within the hour, we can tell you it's a very active investigation. Much more to come. We're live in Dearborn. Sean Lay, Local 4. Rhonda, Jason, back to you. Well, hopefully they can track down whoever is responsible for this tragedy. Sean, thank you.